Hey gang, I just want to give you a quick piece of advice if you're trying to hook up a battery tender to your E36 and you don't want to hook it up in the trunk. I'm not a big fan of hooking them up in the trunk. I did do that on my E46. I hooked the battery tender up to the front terminals. But the E36 is kind of a little bit of a different animal in the way you got to hook it up. E46 is really straightforward. It's got positive, negative, you just connect it and you're good to go. But on the E36, their positive terminal is a little kooky. So I want to show you what I did to sort of get around it. Um, here is the positive terminal, okay? However, that big ass bolt right there does not screw off, okay? That's just for basically jumping the car. So I started to find out that out the hard way, but um, you don't want to take a, a big socket set to that and try to pry that thing off because that is never coming off. So what I did was there's another cover that covers down here, and there's a couple other um bolts down there i don't know if you can see them or not let me show you what the cover looks like okay here's the cover and this cover basically it fits in here okay it snaps in so you got to pry this thing off and there's a latch right here where my thumb is you can release and then there's an also a bottom one um, down here, okay? And I've got like a little pry tool here that I was able to get under and like pull the snap away. It's kind of like a tension snap that's up here too. And once you get those um, released, you can pull this sort of bottom cover off and that's where you've got a couple other terminals down there where you can connect things. Now, I've connected the um, battery tender to the same um, connection that this wire is coming in as. And the reason I did it, I could have connected, there's another one right here. But the problem is the cover, when you put the cover back on, there's no opening in the cover for the wire to come out of. And there is one right here for this wire. So there should be enough room when I put the cover back on to have enough clearance to um, run the battery tender wire out and I've got the battery tender and that's the uh, plug where you plug it in the battery tender and then I've got the negative running right down here into a negative uh, there's a big ass nut down there that's connected to the frame so that's a good place to uh, ground your your terminal there so the key is you got to pop the cover off on the bottom portion of your your terminal sets here, your positive sets, then I would use the one with this big cable. This red cable is um, coming out. Undo the screw under here. It takes an 11 millimeter socket, okay, and you don't want to drop the nut down in there in your engine bay. You may never find it again. So use your 11 millimeter socket, and once it once you crack it, take your socket set off, and then keep the um, the actual socket on it and then just undo it by hand so you, um, when you pull the socket out it's the uh, the nuts gonna come with it and if you really want to get you know if you really want to be careful about it I've got a long um, sort of magnet tool here if it falls down somewhere you can fish it out but, um, let me put the cover back on and show you what it looks like okay so here's with that plastic cover back on as you can see there's a there's enough room there where that red cable goes in, there's enough clearance on that cover to give you enough room to run another cable in there. You just got to take your time and be careful with it. And so here's the right there, right there. I'm wiggling. That's the uh, battery tender cable. So one way goes to the negative, which is over there. The positive is connected underneath that plastic cap that I showed you to a nut. And then here, I just got it running over here and I got an extender on it because I don't have enough cable to get to a wall. And I just run it to the wall. And down there you can see that I got a good light, good red light, so it's charging. So we'll see how it does tonight. I'll keep it on here. I don't know how far down the battery's been drained. It hasn't been hooked up since I got the car, so. Um, 
I think the last time I did this when I got the E46, it took two or three days to charge it up completely, so keep an eye on it. Um, hopefully the car doesn't catch fire or anything like that, but I got positives to positives and negatives to negatives, so that's the important thing. And it's grounded, so there you go, a little tip. Uh, if you're trying to hook your battery tender up to the front of your E36, that's the way I'm doing it. It's probably the way you should do it. If you like this video, like it. Didn't like it, don't like it. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, all that bullshit. If you had to subscribe, subscribe today so you never miss an episode. Take care.